that if you tend to get uh, one answer wrong you lose like totally of 5 marks and that was very much surprising to me at first and i was baffled by that and then later i got to understand like yeah it's gonna be like this and yeah so technically so genuinely if it's a subjective exam and it's a 60 mark paper i will usually expect like 58 or 59 but if it's an objective type exam like this uh, i was very shocked when i learned that i only got 50 and that shattered me cuz i never really lost that much marks in my life life like and that that really deep uh, you know i was really disappointed at first then later I you know learned to adapt to it and I think that's what helped in my maturity journey like for me maturing emotionally because I used to I'm a very sensitive person I get very affected when I lose a lot of marks or if I don't um, you know know the answer to a particular question particularly in my field of academics because you know I find it very precious because I mean I'm uh, people gen genuinely say that I'm very academically well so I find it very much of a precious thing to protect that so uh, because of that conscience I always tend to pressurize myself sometimes and if I find that if uh, I don't know the answer to this I kind of get stressed a lot so because of that like uh, the first time I wrote these objective type exams uh, I didn't get the marks I was expecting. That didn't mean I lost a lot of marks because I did get some good marks. But then, like, I ended up, you know, I, I wasn't up to my expectations. And uh, like I said before, that was very disappointing for me. But then later on, I realized that uh, that system is very important because like I said in the beginning, it's not like there's no point in mugging up information because what the education system is pushing us all to do is to buy hard textbooks, definitions, etc. And it can be pressurizing a lot, like particularly I think for people, I mean for me and many other uh, students it's fine, but for people who have a technique, you know, who are kind of having a problem with memorizing it's gonna be tough for them and that learning method is not efficient for them that doesn't mean they're intellectually less smarter because I know some people like that and you know they're very you know they're very nice people and they're very um, you know smart in a, another type of way and I really appreciate that smartness and I wish I you know I had that sort of intelligence because I think that's what's gonna be more benefiting if you happen to uh, aspire to be a scientist or an engineer or a doctor or whatsoever because there's no point in knowing information and not knowing how to apply it and I think that knowledge of applying our knowledge um, you know that skill is very important and I think foundation courses like X and Y help you uh, you know achieve that kind of technical and application uh, based kind of skill because the way some of the questions are in you know our workbooks it's not like the questions I see in regular school workbooks or in the school exams so I mean um, now obviously you need to prepare yourself like that if you want to write an entrance exam but that kind of skill is not just important for writing an entrance exam that kind of skill is important for any sort of problem solving um, you know for any kind of problem solving dilemma because in our world there are so many things we have to deal with right now like it's not just in the field of science in this field of politics in the field of um, you know technology etc we uh, humans and we as mankind we have to deal with many problems and we need to have that we need to develop that skill and we need to develop that skill particularly with our young population to deal and solve that problem that so a problem solving mindset should be developed that kind of technical mindset that kind of mindset of applying 
uh, the knowledge. I think that's the basis. Applying knowledge, that way of technical thinking is very important. And I think that's what most education systems should move to. Because I've read this in a book that I've read about this somewhere that you know the current education system is genuine particularly in India current education system is based off what the British gave us uh, on the basis of what the you know Britain had during the industrial revolution so technically back in those days so technically the education system that we are currently learning in is what people in the 1800s also learned it's that kind of a rigid very um, what do you say very you know uh, straightforward I mean I won't say straightforward it's kind of a rigid yes and like that mugging up kind like you need to do this you need to obey this you need to do it this way otherwise you're not gonna pa uh, you're not gonna uh, pass this exam you know it's kind of like that mindset and I've noticed that in certain teachers also because you know that's the kind of uh, system that our education system is fostering and it's not just a problem in India I think it's a problem worldwide that many education systems are forcing children to buy hard their textbooks and you know they and ch children who didn't understand the topic properly they find it very hard to you know buy hard that topic and people who, who learn you know write this mug, mugged up things in their exam they get full marks without understanding the value of uh, you know grasping the idea of the concept grasping the idea of how to apply that concept and when I joined X and Y, I think my main where, where I can mainly see my improvement was in maths and physics. Because before I didn't have much of an interest for physics before, and I didn't understand. I mean, I I, I mean I didn't uh, know of how much importance these two things had in our current world. Because. Uh, I found physics usually boring like in 7th grade and 6th grade and maths also it was kind of boring for me because I never I mean 6th grade math was all about numbers and digits and you know it kind of it, it wasn't it didn't click to me like as, as much other subjects did for me so I usually found it very boring and I think mainly I, why I found it boring and why many other people find it boring is because they don't understand the technical value of these kind of things. I think this technical value is something that I cannot explain straightforward. It's something that you'll only experience once you start to really understand what mathematics and physics and chemistry and biology, whatever subject that is. Like, when you understand the purpose of these subjects in our modern day society, that's when you only feel the value of you know the value that learning things gaining knowledge uh, really is and uh, mainly like I said mathematics my mathematics has improved very much like I can I used to take a lot of time to do algebraic problems and linear equations and I, I didn't understand exponents properly and with my eighth grade foundation course those all things are very clear with me with proper explanation and the practice the workbooks that they provide us you know I think it has helped me challenge my intuition and uh, it has helped me develop this kind of um, uh, you know it, it has helped me develop that kind of technical somewhat of that technical knowledge and I think everyone should gain that kind of technical knowledge like I have explained it before and yeah so that's technically what this foundation course has helped me and I wish to study in it until like yeah I, I wish to continue forward with this and I would recommend others to join a foundation course too for this same reason thank you